Hi, this is Paul from paulrobbie.com. I wanted to do an analysis on Nickel Rock Resources Inc. Um, some great value here. Uh, electric vehicle industry and, and the sector surrounding it is uh, potential hotbed, really. And I'm going to go through um, NIKLF um, and also look at some of the correlations. Look at where the major support and resistance zones are. Look at this previous move, the pullback. Uh, and sort of give my opinion. So it's one of the things we need to look at first is uh, how this particular stock has performed since listing. Uh, we can see here this is uh, the IPO at this point here, you know, around about 1.2044 listed. Uh, and then we had a massive move up here in 2016. And since then, we've drifted all the way back down. But curiously now, and it's not, well, it's not curiously, it's actually the FIB extension from this open to the high and where it's pulled back to find some major support is the 1.382 uh, FIB extension there. So really, really strong FIB extension support there held, you know, yes, it's in the in the sense type uh, price, but it did hold and we've got a good zone here um, where we found that support around about 0 0.0150 to around 0 0.1146 so um, some great support there now as we've moved up since then and we're going to go and look at some correlations in a minute i just want to go through this first the way i've identified this next zone is the top of the zone is actually the listing price here that it shot up from the bottom of this zone at the high of 0 0.9305 gives us a, a sticky zone, if you like, some resistance there. Uh, we clear that. There's a little bit of resistance here. But, you know, we've got to look at these previous highs over $4. And that is our longer term target on this type of uh, stock, especially with... Um, the world scrambling for sufficient nickel and lithium supplies and this company uh, finds it and gets it out of the ground so uh, this this company is well poised and what i really like about this is that this move up here coincides with a lot of correlations i'm going to go through the, a couple of those right now so in white we have tesla in purple, we have NEO, which is a Chinese uh, EV manufacturer. Then we have LAC in the green, in the yellow, sorry, and that is a lithium producer. So once it's out of the ground, they they um, go and refine and do all that sort of stuff. But then we have NIKLF, the stock we're talking about now. Now this is really really key here. We can see this massive move up on Tesla, correlation with NEO, pretty pretty damn good uh, and then we've got LAC the lithium producer there now the miner moved at the same time here yes it was more delayed because obviously they need to produce uh, lithium they need to be getting out of the ground but once they did this mark this correlation as you see here around about the 11th of Jan correlates pretty close to the highs with Tesla the highs with Neo and the highs with LAC so these sort of correlations we should be looking at when we're looking at this type of stock for investment. And I really like the way this is now forming. And more, more importantly, uh, these guys, Nickel Rock, are to drill for lithium clays at, at Clayton Valley, Nevada by mid-March this year. So this is really crucial. Um, one of the things I like also is you see the kick up here on Tesla, the same on NEO, the same on LAC and NIKLF is following. So the, even after this measured pullback on Tesla, and NEO and LAC, they're all kicking back up again. The same with NIKLF. So these correlations work out really well. As long as this company can find and, and get that lithium, uh, this, this company, these correlations are really, really crucial. So you should be looking at these. Now, NIKLF, now let's go to the daily time frame. I want to talk more about this recent pullback. So remember, during January, we had this big move up uh, with Tesla, NEO, LAC. This followed, but more important to me, 
the interest in this stock really really did go because look at this volume if I just zoom out a little bit here the volume is very very low look at this volume spike on this move up now when we get a pullback and this is profit taking a lot of this is profit taking here um, you know people have got in around about 0. you know six cents when it hits 90 cents there's a there's a there's a call here to take profit but the climb up the move up was higher volume than this profit taking we can see this profit taking on average is moving down okay we found um, some support here on earnings we had earnings 26 of February and then today we've had the gap up so this Lone Star Doji here uh, on after this measured pullback this profit taking now the earnings have come out investors are starting to take notice in this a couple of things I'm looking at here as well is when I look at this big move up I want to look at the stochastic down here we see the stochastic crosses over in the oversold zone around about this point here in August 2020 and since then we've had the big move up we've had these false breakouts here during this really big bullish move okay so we've got a low and a high with the stochastic so that's where I've got my fib retracement here from these lows when we were crossing over to these highs and then during this profit taking pullback we've retraced and this is an important retracement here we are between the 618 and the 786 the 786 for me is the last chance saloon it's held in there more importantly also we have support non-linear support from my 89 day EMA moving average cloud here 55 is the grade so this is my this is you know usually you find it slows down or find support in the 55 if not we get it in the 89 so we've got the linear retracement the non-linear support as well then we go and look at the stochastic for the first time since August 2020 we're back in the oversold zone and it's crossing when it crosses against these false breakouts it's really strong bullish move the likelihood is it wants to return there so you know we're, we're backing it up with uh, linear support from this fib retracement long non-linear support from the EMA clouds we've got stochastic behaving very very well and then even further we have our well I is it's an Elliott wave oscillator and during one of these pullbacks here we look for that pullback on the oscillator which is a 535 oscillator so this is this um, basically is a histogram of the differences between the 5 and the 35 EMA. This pulls back and hopefully is crowning between 90 and 140%. So this profit taking pullback into earnings is behaving very, very well. We have gone neutral on the bias, these yellow dots uh, from green. We've got a little bit of red there, but we would look to see that to go to green but then we have got quite a bit of fresh air up until these recent highs so um, you know some really good opportunities here uh, with this uh, pivot point this higher support than this main support zone after the pullback and then you know we are looking for this to resume and test this sort of level again 98248 but if this does then push through there's quite a lot of fresh air all the way to just over two dollars so there's some great potential here I've not got a lot into the um, the fundamentals uh, and more about the company I'm going to leave that to I'm going to put a link in the description for this post uh, and you can go and read all about uh, nickel rock resources what they're all about uh, the fundamental analysis um, quite a lot of quite a lot of stuff on there all about this um, company the sector it's in how it's performing the fundamentals and everything like that backing up what I'm talking about with these um, this technical analysis if you like so hopefully this has helped this is really interesting sector right now I do trade quite a few of these stocks I'm in NEO right now uh, and I see the correlations working out very very well with NIKLF 
with Tesla, with Neo, with LAC, that, that producer of um, of lithium. So we, we're, we're in the right sort of boat now, especially with this drilling for new new deposits in Nevada. I think we're poised really to um, for this to to go again with uh, Tesla, with Neo, and everything like you know with LAC. So. Everything's had a measured pullback. There's some, been some profit taking. Remember, the profit taking, the volume, has reduced on here. We can look at the volume here. It has reduced the average volume on this profit taking pullback has come down, which is very, very key to this. We're having a great day after earnings, and we'd look for that to continue. So hopefully this helps, uh, and I'll speak to you all really soon.